We all know that fish need water to live in, but did you know that fish also need trees? We are standing in the Cowichan, or Cowichan Valley, on eastern Vancouver Island, where, since time immemorial, the salmon and the rainforest ecosystems have been living together in a delicate balance. It's difficult for us to relate today what the biodiversity was like in our forests, in our ecosystems, just a short time ago. So over the last 150 years, the impacts to the integrity and the resilience of those systems has only left us with a shadow. If you have healthy forests, mature forests, healthy ecosystems, that will mean you have healthy fish. So trees are really important to fish, and not just a part of the tree, but the whole tree, from the canopy, through the trunk, through the roots. There's a lot of ways that having a really intact riparian canopy help fish. First of all, having that thick leaves or needles over the land really shelters the land when we have hard rain. So it doesn't just hit the land, run off quickly into the stream, bringing with it lots of sediment, which is hard on fish. Secondly, trees provide shade. We can get temperatures here that are actually lethal to salmon and trout. So it's really important to have that nice overarching, overhanging shade over the river. Another thing is fish generally eat bugs. Lots of insects fall off the overhanging leaves into the water and the fish eat them. They also eat insects that live in the water and those insects eat organic matter which comes largely from leaf litter. So the trees feed the bugs who feed the fish. One of the best things about big trees is that eventually they become big dead trees and they provide great fish habitat whether they've fallen into the river or whether they've fallen onto the land. These trees create deep pools of calm, cool water where the fish like to hang out for spawning or resting or waiting for some food to either swim, float or crawl by. And if there are not enough of these large pools, then the fish have to spend too much time swimming against the really strong current. And big trees are the best because they stay in place longer. Even better is those big trees when they land on the forest floor. Part of their role is to slow down any water moving along the surface of the soil, capturing the sediment and keeping it from entering the water. Also, those big dead trees act as big water reservoirs, holding water onto the site during the hot summer droughts and making that water available to the trees and smaller vegetation, keeping the whole ecosystem healthy. The importance of integrated root systems is profound. What you see, especially in the coxyla, in the couchin as well, there's an awful lot of material that gets flushed into the river. If you have healthy trees, large trees, complex forest and complex root systems, not only does it have enough integrity to, to basically hold back a river potentially for hundreds of years and keep the river in place. It also has an incredible complexity of habitat and basically it's just a nice, cool, dark place to hide when you need to hide. One of the tougher things to relate, it's, it's not just the trees on the immediate edge of our rivers and streams. 
It's the whole forest. Muk utslithaktal quite literally means everything is connected. But in our siyas, the truths, the stories, it's been long known that trees and fish are, are very distinctly connected. Glad to, to be able to help bring that forward and help share that part of our history because it's something that's so fundamental. Without one, you can't have the other. <laughs>